guys there's this car i tell you people every time in a video it's like whenever i sit down to film it eh, then things start to happen it's like the people around me just sense that i'm filming and it's weird like i really don't get it <laughs> channel and welcome to you if you are new my name is Anita Nwaira and you are welcome to my channel uh, I think in my last video someone left a comment um, asking me to make a video on my hair care range and why I closed it and this comment is actually from yo underscore tutu and um, <laughs> when I saw this comment it just broke back so many memories and uh, I was like okay let me just do this video for you guys there are actually people out there who um, have been contacting me concerning this um, they've been asking me why you know why I went out of business why am I not making you know beauty products any longer what's going on all those questions and I think it is I think I'm in a place right now to answer all those questions and just make a video for you guys. So I'm going to be answering all of that and um, just, you know, talking about the way forward. If you're interested in today's topic, definitely stay tuned. Alright, so let me give you guys a little backstory, okay, to why this question popped up. I started a beauty brand called Norbel when I was in China and essentially my goal was to cater to the beauty needs of the black community in China. This actually stemmed out of a personal need for you know hair care products and skincare products for my skin type and obviously the products that were available were you know created or made for um, the Chinese population and skincare products and hair care products that were um, available for black people in China as at the time that was like around 2015 were quite expensive. So essentially in this video I'm going to be answering um, three main questions. I've been getting a lot of questions, people have been asking me a lot of questions like why I haven't been around, all of those things and I sort of like summarized them into three main questions. So the first one is um, why? Why did I close down? Why did Nobel close down? Why are we not producing products? Why are we not, you know, available um, in China anymore? The second question is where have I been? And the third one is would you start Nobel again? Or when are you coming back? Or when would products be available for me to buy? So for the first one, why we closed down? So I would say the long and short of everything is COVID. COVID affected my business, COVID affected so many other businesses and COVID is the main reason why we closed down. I was supposed to leave China in 2019 and then come back in 2020 to graduate. That was a schedule for my medical course and within that period I had actually planned to, you know, still have products available in China so people could buy whilst I was away and then when I come back to China I would sort of like get back into production and then also prepare myself for uh, you know production in Ghana because so in 2019 before I left I employed two lovely ladies to handle things for me whilst I was away so that when I come back in 2020 May I come and take over and these two ladies were in my school they were also students of my school they were my juniors so they were still around when I was leaving China so they were handling everything everything was going on fine everything was going on well until in December 2019 when um, we were sort of like running low on stock so I had the idea to you know run a clearance sale so that we would just get rid of you know the rest of the stuff and we will be sold out till probably when I come back in May of 2020. So that was the plan and everything went well. So before the sale um, they also had um, 
examinations they had exam because usually we write exams in december so they had examinations coming and they were sort of like busy preparing for the exams so the whole term the terms and conditions for the sale was that make a purchase on the sale day your package will not be sent um, until after a week that was like those were the terms of the sale and a lot of people understood a lot of people took part i think we even almost got sold out maybe like a week after when we were supposed to start sending other things that was when um the whole news of covid like really came out and like people started getting scared and all of those things so the two ladies that i had running things actually were quite frightened it was absolutely normal because after that time things were very chaotic and the whole thing was just like in shambles so um they panicked and they couldn't send out the packages because number one there was like lockdown and number two they didn't want to come in contact with any other person i think our school um placed them on lockdown so they couldn't like they weren't allowed to leave or go outside or anything of that sort unless it was urgent and they were also really scared so i just told them that fine i understood and even if it was me i don't think i would want to put myself in such a situation because as at that time why is this car making so much noise you guys there's this car i tell you people every time in the videos like whenever i sit down to film it eh, then things start to happen it's like the people around me just sense that I'm filming and it's weird like I really don't get it so we had to refund everybody who took part in the sale because obviously I didn't want to keep anybody's money because I didn't even know when um, the lockdown would be lifted and when things would sort of like normalize even though in the beginning we all thought that oh maybe this thing will just get under control after a couple of weeks or months or something and everybody will be fine so we refunded every single person and um fast forward to january um our school actually gave them the option to leave china or to stay and then be on like a very long you know period of lockdown so they actually took the opportunity to leave because as at that time countries were closing down their borders like countries were closing their borders airports were closing ports were closing like everywhere was closing so the opportunity to leave china or to stay there for a longer period so they left china so that was it like as at that point they left and that was just it you know i wasn't in china at that time i was in ghana and i just couldn't you know manage things from where i was so uh we had to close and that's basically it that was just <laughs> So yeah, that was it. That was how we closed down. Moving on to the next question, where have I been? So I've been in Ghana. I've been in Ghana since 2019 when I came. I have been here. I did my clinical rotations. I finished, I graduated school and I've been here. So I've been in Ghana all this while. All those of you who have been asking me on WeChat, on Instagram, everyone that has been texting me, asking me where I am, what's going on with me. I always tell you guys that I'm in Ghana i'm at home you know i'm safe and it's just that covid um you know covid didn't allow us to continue with the plans that we had basically all the plans that i had to like start my business like in 2020 everything just had to come to a hold everything came to a standstill and that was just it like i mean it was such a hard period for me like it was such a difficult period for me because I felt like at some point I just felt like I was cruising and I had everything down like I felt like I had everything under control only to you know get hit by COVID and you know it, it was it was sad a lot of businesses suffered a lot. and it's it's amazing how like things turned out um, especially for me because at some point I was really down I was really sad about the whole thing but then I had to look on the bright side because for me um, I felt like it was a blessing in disguise because it was time for me to take a step back and really analyze what I was doing um, take a good look at everything that I had done and really analyze the gifts that God has given me I call 
Nobel a gift from God because honestly sometimes when I sit down and I look at the things that I have done it just it amazes me and I feel like in my human capacity like it is just not possible <laughs> It's just not possible like if you're able to do anything at all whether it's complete university or you know start a business a successful business anything else that you do like it's just beyond your human capability it's all because of God it's all because of the grace of God and I seriously seriously believe that Nobel was a gift from God and that is something that I'm really 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 grateful for I learned a lot from that period like from 2020 um, when I couldn't go back to China all the way till now like I've learned so much about my business like you know learned to do a lot of things differently I have really drastically improved on like formulation I've taken like so many courses in formulation now like I'm a lot better than I was before so I'm just looking at this whole thing as a blessing for me um, that's basically it that was like how you know we closed down and everything so now the question is, when am I coming back? When are products going to be available? So I'm working on it, okay? I have been working on it. I've been working tirelessly. Ever since the borders opened, I have been working on it. So definitely you guys are going to hear from me. All you have to do is keep your ears to the ground and look out for Noah. You can follow me on my Instagram handles at noabel underscore hair and skin you can follow me on twitter and tiktok at noabel and you can follow me on facebook at noabel hair and skin uh, that is basically it that sums it up for like the whole experience from 2019 may up until now this is what has been happening to me and i am really grateful to god for every single experience like i can't even stress I can't even like I can't even express how graceful I am. It was so painful, but at the end, I think everything that I went through was worth it. Like all the losses, you know, all the heartbreaks, all the pain, everything. Like all the sleepless nights, all the tears in my eyes. I honestly feel like it was all worth it, and I just can't wait because I know that bigger things are ahead of me and greater things are yet to come. And I know that greater things are going to come for you too. Every single person who has supported me from the get-go, like from the beginning, okay, from the beginning, like every single person who has supported me, I am so grateful for you guys. Like every single one who has contacted me on Instagram, wherever it is that you contacted me, like I'm really, really grateful. I can't even express how grateful I am. Sometimes when I see the messages, I'll just be like, hey, so like people still think about me i'm like well that's the thing i want to leave like such a lasting impression on you guys like i want you guys to be able to remember me like out of the blue that is what i want and i'm grateful to every single person for reaching out so you don't know how you know how comforting it made me feel just knowing that i have people out there who actually think of me so yeah Thank you guys so much and that is the end of today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you, you know, this answers some of your questions and I will definitely be making more videos concerning my business and all of that. So if you're interested in that kind of content, you can subscribe down below, hit the like button and you can share this video with your friends as well. I will see you guys in my next one. Stay blessed as always. Bye.